Hello, and welcome to my home. My name is Jackie. You're in my living room. This is a box. This is a gift trade box. So it's a trade and a gift because she never just does a trade straight out. There's probably extras in here because she's always doing that. This is for my friend Latina. We are always chatting and talking and we have, I've given her things. She's given me things. We've traded back to four. We just didn't really advertise it this time. She's like, just tell people it's from me. I'm like, hey, cool. This is for my friend Latina. So let's take a look. So the way this box opens is at the top here. Um, so I want to make sure um, it's going to be interesting. It's a rather heavy box, guys. So, oh, wow. Yeah, there was supposed to be one bag in here. There is more than one bag in here. So let me show you what's in this box. There's a lot of bags in here. Okay, there's this. Oh, wow. How cool is this? This is an Etienne Anye bag. She knows I've been showing a lot of these bags. This is so pretty. Oh, and it's a hobo. You know I love a hobo. This is an awesome bag, guys. So this is, this is look, look how beautiful this bag is. It has all, and it's so funny because this is so like now, and I don't know when this was made, but this is so right now. Look at this beautiful lining, guys. I love this. Oh, I love the branding. I love everything. This is so beautiful. This is a genuine leather bag, guys. This is a beautiful bag. I love this bag. I love the look. I love it. Feels so soft, and I like all the little stud details. I wonder if it expands. Oh, so this the. Pull on this is this is um bro broken off, but you know, whatever it happens. But yep, it just does expand. So I'm gonna pull this open to show you. And I'll probably leave it open because I like the open zipper detail. And I can fix this. You're like, fix that? How? Well, there's metal adhesives that you can get also, so you can fix a zipper like this so it's not completely, you know, never used again. But that little um zip. Leaves it gives it a little bit of space to expand, but I also like that look, this kind of moto style look. And here's a back pocket. So cool, so cool. A bag number one, because this is Latina. There's more than one bag in here. Um, okay, this one. Bag number two. Oh, wow. Another Etienne. Etienne Anye. Another one. Look how beautiful this one is, too. Oh, I was looking at these on at eBay today, guys. I was trying to, I've been showing you guys all my, my bags I've been finding. And now, look, I was gifted some. Oh, this bag is, look at this detail. This is so current for, it's east-west. Look at this little you know, Y2K kind of look. This large, chunky. Um, buckle detail. Gosh, I love this emblem, by the way. I really do like that emblem. And this has a different type of color lining, but it has two uh, side compartments and then a center zip compartment for security. Um, here you go. Oh, look at that. Look how beautiful that is. This is a beautiful bag. So this is um, established in 1949, for those who don't know. So the company is an American company originally. Currently, they only have, um, they're, they're out of Munich, but they used to be just in America. They closed out the American branch and opened when they, and they only have a European branch, but it originally was just an American so this is okay let me get the stuff there's stuff inside okay so here's more bags so this is a, i believe this is an ancline black vinyl uh with patent trim so ancline is a vegan tends to be only a vegan brand now but it ha if you see this lion that's an ancline bag guys this is my first ancline I've seen a lot of them. I've never been able to pick one up, so that's awesome. Ooh, a lo another little mock rock um, grandma bag, which is what I call them. And there's this kiss lock. Let me see if I can open this. And this is from Tommy Hilfiger. How cool is that? Now, Tommy Hilfiger can either be vegan leather or real leather. It just depends. Uh, you never really know. And let's see, it, let's see if it even has a label in here. Um, I don't have, this is my first Tommy. So this is a made in China. 
and it is it doesn't have a materials label i'm going to assume this is not leather although it feels really nice it's very soft so if it is a mock Leather is a really nice one. And it says Tommy Hill figure right there, my first Tommy bag. I used to have a lot of Tommy textiles, like quilting and bedding. I've always liked their stuff. And look at this, another set in my grandma bag. I love these, this type of party bag kiss lock. This is from the brand La Royale, made in China, along with everybody else. So it's a set in little party bag. Oh, look how cute this is. You know who's gonna borrow this is my twin because she's going to a wedding and this is perfect. This is definitely going to be going, and, and I can let her borrow this, and it will probably end up with one of my younger sisters, because that's where she, that's who's getting married, is one of my younger sisters, and this, this happens all the time. <laughs> and here's another party bag. Oh my gosh, look how cute. Silver, my metallic eras, guys. And then my metallic era. This is very adorable. Um, it is a cute, darling little back now i don't have any idea i mean this is technically for like a little lipstick but it would be like the world's smallest lipstick which they make so it's not unheard of this is a really cute bag a little clutch party bag my sister's always going to prom because she's a teacher so she has to chaperone these things so perfect for my twin now i don't i don't live the party lifestyle but i love a shiny bag i really appreciate this bag thank you so much and this bag this is what we trade was for was this this was this one the trade was for this one this is an italian made bag this is called il il Desante. and this is a brand that's very popular actually in in um japan and it's a really nice bag you can find this in like neiman's and those types of places this is a cute little bag so it's a cute little cinch bag it needs a little bit i think it needs a little bit of nope actually that's the way it's supposed to be it's rotating um this is really cute so let me read what it says on the inside designed by Wanity or Wanny di Filippo, genuine leather made in Italy. And it has one bag zip pocket right here. It's just a canvas body, which is really cute, by the way. A perforated stamped type of leather. Actually, it's not perforated, it's just stamped. And then it, it has this uh, buckle. Now, I, I personally like a buckle on my bags. I, I like this type of style. Um, well, some people don't. I am I'm the perf I'm the weirdo that does. A lot of people they're like, it's too feisty to get in and out of. Like, yeah, I like that because I don't want anybody else getting in and out of my bag other than me. If it takes them a little longer, that's fine. I can deal. And then it just has this cord. Let me unknot it. So when you have weight in here. It just cinches up like this, and I can change it to, to make the knots a little longer here. So if it's cinched in such a way that the knots are short, the, the strap is short, see how these are knotted? So you just unknot these, and then you knot them where you want them to be, and that's how you stop your bag from, you know, coming undone. And there's some brass on here it needs a little bit of polishing but in general this is a really awesome bag she told me you know, i have this bag you know would you like it i'm like sure and we did a bag swap and i gave her a bag and she um says i'll send you this bag of course she sent me a box of bags a whole box of bags not just one bag because this is latina she's like no 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 you need you need you need all these <laughs> so, i love her so much she's so cool and um she's in my lives all the time and we we just we've traded a few things back and forth and she just gifted me things um we're both we both love bags and this is the best thing ever about youtube is i found have found the coolest friends people who love what i love so when we swap things back and forth it's love you know it's like here here's my thing that i love and i know you'll love it and you know they will love it because they love bags and not every bag in your life is perfect for the time of your life right so when i the bag we swapped worked better for her now these bags work better for me now they're not working for her now when she got them yes you know but not everything is meant to be in your in your hands forever so this is a great way to share the love and joy 
and and both we both love bags and this is awesome you know so let me just finish this knot and then i'll show you how this looks cinched up because this is a cute bag this is actually a really popular bag brand in um asia as i said but not so much in the states you don't really see this very often um if you do it's at the higher end stores and i think i found this because i was watching something about um asian brands or bags popular in asia and so this is what i get the kink the kink out because it was like oh no we're still kinked and you can also replace this cording pretty easily because of the way it has grommets to thread through there's a little bit of tarnishing on the metal which is normal guys it's metal it's not you know then you just rub it you just clean it and it'll be fine i have a metal cleaner and you can also i can take part this uh cording or take it off completely and then i can clean it if it bugs you because it's darkening and in some places but honestly this bag is in really good condition the the canvas is almost spotless guys so it's like it's gotten a lot of use for a bag that's in really good um overall very good condition so so just adjusting the fleets. I love the way this looks. Like you have to really play with the bag. Don't judge anything by its first look. Look how cute that is. Look at how that, I've never seen a bag designed like this that looks like this, it's type of, and I like how you can have any type of length. It has enough generous ge generosity that you can actually have this expanded out. And then here you have your shoulder strap. It, it just needs a little bit of training to get the kinks out because this is where the knots were before. And I might actually take this entire strap off and then do it a, a good cleaning because it, it just it needs a little bit of um, sal soap, a little bit of moisturizer, and we're fine. The main body, I'm just going to moisturize the front, you know, the leather bits. Of course, not touch the canvas bits. I'll spray the canvas with some Colonel Carbon Pro, and we're off for a great start. And here we go, my very first made in Italy um, Il Ilvasante bag. Do you have one? Have you seen one? Do you know about this brand? Uh, if you Google it, you'll find it on um, a good story behind it. So it's a fun little bag. Thank you for watching my video and have a great day. Oh, thank you, Latina, so much for all my loot. Let me show you all the loot together, you know. So this is what she sent me. for the one bag I sent her. This is why I have a bag problem. This is why I have a lot of bags, because this happens. I give one leaves, how many just showed up? And I only sent one away, and or I'll send a small bag away and get a giant tote bag. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bags have joined my family. Um, some of these will go to my twin, and some will go to my little sister because I can't use them all. And oh, I try. <laughs> so we want everybody to have the love. And she told me I could do that. She said she was going to be bringing, sending me more things than just this one bag. But honestly, this is a bag we traded for. Like, oh, yeah, yes, it's all trade. I love that bag. And anyway, I do love this bag. Have a great day. Thank you so much for watching my video. Bye.